Yesterday we were shopping in Milan. Today we're trying wine in Tuscany. Follow along on this wondrous journey we call Italy. Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. We're Nick and Anna and we've been traveling full time since 2022, exploring the world one destination at a time. We'd really appreciate if you'd like and subscribe if you're enjoying the content here or if you just want to follow along on our travels. We typically stay in a place for about a month and this time we have a treat for you. We're in our favorite city in Italy, Florence. In this video, we'll be exploring an authentic market in Florence with our friend Ileana and taking a trip to the Tuscan wine country. Without further ado, welcome to Florence. If you stick around till the end, we'll let you in on what we have next for you in Italy. Florence is our all-time favorite city in Italy, being centrally located and full of culture and things to explore. This week we're at the Sant'Ambrogio Market in Florence, the oldest market in the city. We absolutely love coming to this gathering place full of colors, flavors, and fragrances. Here it's always easy to find what you're looking for. There's fresh fruits and vegetables, meats, cheeses, and you're always greeted with a buongiorno and a smile. While you typically wouldn't think to go to a market on your holiday, this market has some of the most fresh produce you can find in Florence and 100% worth the visit. Ileana is an expert at the Santa Ambrosio market and was gracious enough to show us around. She does this tour of the market almost daily and does cooking classes using the produce from here as well. This is definitely a place where one can do shopping the old fashioned way. We were even able to try some of the fruits and vegetables from the vendors while we were there. Yeah. And they get all that. I make pesto with <laughs> double peeled broad beans. I'm not, but like I'm not. Yeah. Like, I'm yeah. not, yeah. not expecting yeah. to be like that. That's good. <laughs> is melon, orange, pear. Thank you. Yes. Yum. Good. While we really enjoyed the outside of the market with all its fruits and vegetables, we needed to make our way inside to really experience the rest. Inside, you can find meats, cheeses, and of course, wine. Here are some of the places we visited. We stumbled upon a vendor that sold many different types of grains, rice, beans, and made soups as well. A chiba yoga is kind of like a cool school type of mom and pop shop where they sell like dried goods. So stuff like dried grains, spices. So here we have the international races like jasmine, basmati. So the difference is that these are long grain, whereas risotto rice is like short and starchy. Mm -hmm. And then um, <coughs> this variety, Carnaroli. I don't know if you noticed, it's the same type and this is double the price. Oh. This brand has found a way to remove the germs. They age it and they reinsert the germs. So it's like whole grain properties. Excuse me, sir. You can't be in here. The inside of this amazing market had both of our mouths watering. It smelled so good around every corner that we turned. Back there is ricotta salata, like your cheese that looks like that. It's like a sun-dried ricotta from Sicily, and it's hard and green. It's in pasta. It's like kind of like a salty flavor. So the original form of um, salami was more like this, like a stocky vibe. So, um, let's 
start with the cheeses first. So I want you to try this cheese. This is a fresh pecorino that's aged about three months. This is the one that I said here as well with the fava salad. It's softer, it's more melty. Salmon? Definitely it reminds me of cheddar, that's why I love that one. You can also grab another either maybe you can have a Tuscan salami with that if you want. Mm. So Tuscan salami has mm. black pepper in the cure too. It's good, right? Yeah, it's um mm. quite like sharp. Yeah, it's nutty. Um, yeah. yeah. I've had some version of this back in the food. When I first had that, I was so obsessed with it because it was it's different flavor. I never had anything like it. And the flavor is very persistent, which is why I had you try it last. I think it would have covered the taste of all the other cheeses. And then now you can so good. Oh my god, it's amazing. So creamy. Yeah. Yeah. It's almost like a mouth. So We thought we were recording, but we just got you distracted with food. Some meat. After leaving the market, we had to stop at our favorite bakery in the city, Leonardo's. Whenever we're hungry, we go here, buy half a pizza, and dive in. The food here is exquisite and not something to be missed while visiting Florence. I was dreaming of this for the longest time <laughs> before we came back. So that's when we like came in on Saturday. Oh, and you got the pizza? Mm -hmm. I well, love like, your pizza. We got the same one. We got some of the sandwich. I think at the time though, like post prosciutto, I think that might be more than a dollar. That was more than a yeah. Um, got a whole bag of the pistachio. Um, the fruity mm -hmm. So good. I'll have them tonight. They're the best things ever. This is like dark chocolate and cherry, but they have all kinds of flavors. Mm, I think I would try the pistachio first and then the cookies. But theirs are like amazing. And even like I've gotten like a bag and they're still good for like a couple days yeah. after. They last for two months. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. From here, we decided to take our trip out to Italy's famous Tuscany for some wine, straight from the vineyard. Our driver picked us up in a vintage Fiat 500 from the 1960s. This was such a cool way to get there. Ciao. If you send this boom, 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 don't worry, it's this part. <laughs> Thank you. 
As we drove up to the wine estate, we happened to catch the owner, who also happened to be Polish. How cool is that? Eccola! She's from Poland. Yesterday we were shopping in Milan, today we're trying wine in Tuscany. Follow along on this wondrous journey we call Italy. <laughs> the farm and facilities are really impressive, but we were here to taste the wine and have some lunch. <laughs> I'm the doctor. Yeah. I'm the pharmacist. Yeah. With the prescription of Chianti. La 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 At the end of our lunch and wine tasting, our driver decided to give Nick a turn at driving. Now, he doesn't know how to drive stick shift, and we were on an incline, so some would say that we were set up for failure. You have this, this is gas, this is brake, and this is clutch. Okay. This is for starting the engine, you are in the, in the neutral. Mm -hmm. Oh, Andre, excuse me, ma i clienti devono pagare? È eh, bello, a me queste cose però non mi piacciono, l'ho scoperto a caso. Eh, cominciamo a capirlo e mandami un messaggino. Fammi sapere al più presto, ciao. Eh? Now. No, 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 you push the, the clutch with the other, ok. More, more, more push, beh. Put the... Eh, eh, if you... Nick ended up having to switch back quickly since he can't pilot a manual vehicle, but at least our driver got us back in one piece. Since we were in Florence and centrally located in Italy, we were able to make some weekend trips. In our next few videos, we'll show you around Cinque Terre, Pisa, Rome, Verona, and more. If you'd like to see this in your feed, don't forget to hit subscribe. We'd really appreciate the support. As always, hit us up on Instagram and TikTok, but bye-bye for now. See ya!